When it comes to making cleaner food choices, understanding natural meats is the key, but the labels can be overwhelming. Dietitian and owner of Naturally Nourished, Allie Miller, is here with what you need to know before heading to the grocery store. Good morning Good to morning, you. Good morning, Melissa. It can be really uh, confusing. I can tell you what's not confusing. This smells divine. It does smell divine. And I think it's good for people to know that doctors say and research shows beef is healthy when you eat it right. Absolutely. So one thing we want to look for is grass-fed. You can see that this steak is mm -hmm. very lean. There's not a lot of intermolecular Mm -hmm. fat in there um, and it's a nice deep red pigment uh, that's gonna have more minerals when the, I'm gonna flip it actually for us um, we just put a little bit of sea salt a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of black pepper on there and um, we're cooking it in a little bit of grass-fed butter but when it's grass-fed there's more CLAs which boost metabolism fight against tumors in the body and can actually be less inflammatory you can actually see in the shot there the more intramuscular mm -hmm. fat um, is more inflammatory for the body and so there's a big difference based on the diet of the animal and so we just want to get you want to be eating meat where those cows were in a pasture they were just eating grass and they're not being fed grain yes. because cows were never meant to eat grain and it they almost sure makes them inflamed yes. which we eat them and it makes us inflamed yes. it's just this vicious cycle absolutely and when they eat the grain they get really bloated and so we have to prophylactically give them a lot of antibiotics and mm -hmm. that's a whole other gamut of issues that we see okay so when we're looking for meat yes. we, we want to make sure it doesn't have antibiotics in it yes too, then. you know the word non-hormone is what it usually no says hormones right? and no antibiotics mm -hmm. the word natural a lot of times consumers get duped by that word the word natural technically technically does not mean anything. And so, you know, I brought some tricky uh, packages today. This roast beef is made without antibiotics. Uh, and it is made without the add of nitrates. That's another thing that mm -hmm. you would look for, nitrate-free, because the nitrates can be used as a preservative. And nitrates are going to be in almost every single meat unless you are going to the health, there's usually a healthy section in yes. the store, or you have to go to a health a, a store that has more health foods, yes. right? Yes. Because if you're going to a typical grocery store, uh, if you look at those labels, it's shocking. You're not gonna be able to read half the things in your bacon. Right, and the nitrates are the ones that are gonna raise the blood pressure, also be high risk mm -hmm. for cancer and heart disease. So we wanna be nitrate-free, hormone-free and antibiotic-free. So this is a really tricky package here. It's called Heritage Farm, and it's brown, and it has, you know, the, the farm mm -hmm. essence to it, but it has nitrates in it. You know, mm -hmm. so you have to be mindful, not looking at the label or the logo, but look at those ingredients added. I'll tell you something else that's really confusing is eggs. There yes. are so <laughs> many different things, and most of them do say all natural. Yes. You see cage-free, you see um, pasture-raised. What is all the difference, and what do we need to be so looking for? So cage-free is also very tricky. You know, about five years ago, cage-free was the big buzz, but mm -hmm. now, Oh, they're doing big warehouses where they're loading thousands of chickens in there. A lot of them will have broken limbs, also high antibiotic use because they're in really dingy living conditions. So, so they're in a big building yes. crammed on top of each other, not a cage, so they can right. get by with saying cage-free. Cage -free. Yes. When, you see, when you think cage-free, you do picture them on a beautiful mountainside Happy, perhaps healthy, or, in, yes. or in a pasture and all looking good. Unfortunately okay. not. So, you know, cage-free is not necessarily mm. the cat's pajamas um, and grain-fed also is not ideal. Uh, we want to look for ideal the eggs that are going to be free of soy and maybe even free of corn and pasture raised. So this package here, noting the pasture raised in that light mm -hmm. green, it means that they're actually getting access to green pastures. So they're walking around, they're roaming. Right. Now, while I agree with every single thing you're saying, yes. I will tell you that the pocketbook does not agree with this because it is so expensive. So sure. what is your suggestion with how people pull this off? Because it honestly could double your, your grocery bill when you shop this way. We know it's the best thing, but it's really not affordable yet. Yes, and so, you know, when we're eating meat, we do want to think about being a conscious consumer, mm -hmm. and we do want to think about the health benefits as well. So beyond the quality of the animal, it's higher in omega-3s, less inflammatory, as we discussed, and think about purchasing in bulk, and think about mm -hmm. purchasing locally. You can buy a quarter or an eighth of a cow mm -hmm. and get all of the cuts two to three times a year, and that would be ample to feed the family and brings it down to about $4 a pound. Well, that's, and that would make it much more affordable. I think that is good to know and, and yeah. just good to think about and realize that it may just be worth saving on the medical end of it if you get sick from Absolutely. what you're eating. Okay, Allie, thanks for being here. Sure, Excellent sure. information to share this morning.